Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this, and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's jump right into this. Your pre-shuffle energies. Um, regardless of, you know, how this may actually turn out or actually be for those of you who would resonate with this, I do feel like like this is a good thing whatever is coming through here whatever is happening for you it just even though this and I'll and I'll explain in a second but um even if this might actually be a really difficult or challenging circumstance that you're facing right now ultimately the overall energy of it feels good okay so what we have here is the high priestess with the 8 of wands and the 2 of cups Okay, and then overall energy here. Now, this is just your pre-shuffle, but overall energy here, you have justice. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra. You might also be dealing with a Sagittarius, or I'm hearing a Scorpio um, specifically. However, we are in Scorpio season right now, so that might be um, this Scorpio energy, the 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 uh, which is representative of like death and rebirth and change and all that could really be why this is happening for you here. But um, I, I feel like there's some sort of secret that's being revealed. Like I literally just heard secrets are being revealed. Um, there could be some sort of conversation or communication that happens between you and another person. I, I do really feel like this is a love interest. And I really feel like this is going to, regardless of the, again, yes, Spirit is, is, is um, reiterating this, regardless of the circumstances, Ultimately, this is going to help you two come together, come closer together. And if this is not um, a relationship with an external being, then this could be the relationship within yourself, okay? Uh, we do have this, and this is coming from the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups can represent um, a romantic situation with someone that is external to you, but it also could represent a soulmate or the, the, the bond, the romantic bond, or just like the soul bond between you yourself, like your, your inner masculine and feminine energies. So yeah, this really could go one of two ways. Um, either it's someone external to you, and this really even could be a friend, okay? It could be a lover, a friend, a family member, something like that, or this also could be internal, okay? Something is being revealed, something is being spoken, something is being heard that can help bring two beings to two individuals or whatnot, whatever, help bring them together, okay? Bringing justice into the situation bringing balance into the situation, greater balance where there may not have been balance before. Okay, well, that's pretty awesome. Um, again, like I said, this does feel like, it, it, this does ultimately feel good. Like in the grand scheme of things, this does feel good. Um, it feels balanced. Uh, it might, again, depending on what the conversation would be, it, it, you know, it could be pretty... It could be a challenging one. It could be pretty difficult, but ultimately, it it it, it, turn, it feels like it's going to result in something that's really really beneficial for the two of you. Okay, I'm not going to take this one. All right, so we're going to reset, and then we're going to see what else we have, what other messages we have for you here for the month of November. Yeah, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of November 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, you know the drill. Five shuffles. Let's get into it. From a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. That was one. This is two. Best messages, please, Spirit, for a Capricorn for the month of November 2019. That was. This is three. <laughs> 
we have number four. And number five. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Okay, let's cut the deck. Boop. All right, Capricorn, overall energy. We're starting you off with, there you go, the Eight of Wands yet again. So communication is at the forefront of your reality at this moment in time. Now, again, keep in mind that my intention with my channel here is to have all of these messages be absolutely timeless. So just because it's coming through for the month of November, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate in the month of November. I would highly recommend, you know, for future reference, um, that you instead focus more on the title. If the title resonates with you, then that's really, I think, something you should probably follow through with. Not necessarily the date, because there is the time is an illusion, right? But anyway, um, for whenever this resonates for you, or maybe for the month of November for you, communication is key. And I do feel like there are some Capricorns out there that may have been avoiding some sort of conversation, some sort of communication. You might have something that you need to say or speak or, or inform someone of, or someone may need to inform you of something or may have something to say to you. Uh, I am, but I'm feeling very specifically that there are some Capricorns out there that have, that have been actively avoiding this. And you really can't avoid this any longer. Um, there may have even been some sort of passive energy. Mm passive aggressive I don't know I did hear passivity in some way I don't know how that would resonate with you maybe if you've been maybe you this Capricorn may have been passive aggressive about something I'm not sure but there's some there's a conversation that needs to be had here underneath the eight of wands there you go you got the ten of wands underneath the ten of wands you've got the seven of swords that actually this right here especially with this ten of wands i definitely feel some passive aggressive energy going on there and underneath the seven of swords you've got the page of wands Ooh! all right um either this conversation is going to lead to greater fulfillment but i i, I heard greater fulfillment and but i'm feeling like um it's going to lead to greater fulfillment because it may trigger some sort of uh self-reflection the page of wands in my opinion as a reader is a minor arcana version of the hermit so it will while it may not be well while it may not be a situation in which you're going through some really deep soul searching this is a situation in which you could gain some greater knowledge about yourself gain some greater knowledge about someone else about a situation but also i kind of feel like this is going to lead you in a new creative direction potentially all right, but also the page of wands is a messenger. So there may be some really like, like a really passionate message or there could be a message that needs to be delivered in terms of someone's truth or someone's authenticity. For some of you, this might have to do with a child, maybe your child. And I feel like they might be a teenager. They may have they may have something that they want to tell you or that they need to tell you and you may have been avoiding it. I just heard stopped listening to them. You may have stopped listening to us. Mm. Ooh, okay, well, I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> but it was a message that came through. We'll see if more about it comes out here, but. Yeah, I really do feel like somebody has been avoiding a conversation here. Okay, let's move forward. First half, second half of your reading here. You could look at this as first half, second half of your month, or it could just be first half, second half of your reading. Take it however however it resonates, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, Capricorn, you have the Nine of Wands. Okay, but look, you guys, I'm getting a really stubborn energy with this Nine of Wands here. It's like you've been persevering against something for fear, for fear of actually facing it. And I really, I'm going to be honest, Cap, I really feel like whomever is in this Nine of Wands energy does not need to be here. You're struggling against something needlessly. And you're only, well, number one, you're prolonging the situation. But number two, you're also only making it harder on yourself. You're doing more damage. Whomever is in this energy... I am. I did pick up specifically that there are some Capricorns out there that are be, or that are avoiding some sort of uh, uh, conversation. So either you're cross watching for a Capricorn or you're the Capricorn here that is avoiding something. 
Um, but whomever this is for, this person is only hurting themselves more and potentially hurting another person more by avoiding this situation. Nine of Wands is coupled with oh, the star. Interesting. There is fear here. And, it, and, and fear doesn't normally come out with the star. And now the, it, you could you could say maybe it's like a, a lack of faith, which is providing that fear. But I don't. And, and that would be like maybe if the card was reversed. Now, I don't read reversals like this, so I'm just picking up on the energy here. But what I'm getting is that there is a potential there is potential for healing here directly related to this situation. And I think why someone may be avoiding this situation is because they don't really know what's going to happen once something, some truth comes to light or something is communicated, blah, 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 or what steps are taken to release yourself from the burdens that you're carrying here with the 10 of wands. Now, the thing about the star is it does symbolize needing to have faith, right? And with the star, you're being led in a certain direction and you don't really know what that entails. You don't know how long it's gonna take you to get to that to the destination. You don't even know, you may not even know what that destination is, but you're but you're being guided in a certain direction. You're being guided towards something and you really probably can't see too much. The star in the major arcana, it comes after the tower, and the tower strikes and something some like something is destroyed and then you're left basically with darkness because whatever was built before is no longer there it, it regardless of what i mean usually when the tower strikes something that is being removed out of your life is something that needed to be removed out of your life but still you're left with like a vacant lot basically and you're just surrounded by darkness and you're being led in a certain direction but you don't know the details of it and Capricorns tend to have some pretty controlling natures. I mean, that's, that can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing. But in this situation here, it's not the best thing. You have to, you, okay, you're going to have to go off on faith. You're going to have to move forward on faith, Capricorn. You're not going to be able to have all the answers. And that's kind of what the high priestess says. The high priestess came out in the, in the pre-shuffle. It's like, look... I'm not going to give you all the answers. I'm giving you what you need to know right now. But uh, as far as everything else, we're not going to tell you that. And Cap and I'm I'm picking up on this specifically. Whomever this is, whether it's you whether it's you the Capricorn or maybe you're cross-watching for a Capricorn or it's someone that Capricorn is dealing with. They are trying to control the situation and to keep something from moving forward because of the fact that they don't have all the answers as to how to handle the situation, where the situation is going to lead you. Okay. Your second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Capricorn. There's justice again. Libra also. Oh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. The star represents Aquarian energy. <clears throat> Balance. This is going to, is the, okay, regardless of how this looks, regardless of how this actually turns out for you, regardless of how this actually unfolds for you, regardless of what the end result is here for you, Capricorn, there is justice trying to come into the situation. You're avoiding this justice, and that's why I'm feeling like whomever is avoiding this is doing more damage to themselves by avoiding it than by facing the facing the situation head on with justice coupled with you have justice is coupled by oh the lovers mm. well the two of cups came out also um, and, and in my opinion, the Two of Cups is a minor arcana version of the Lovers, kids. But you have, first of all, you have all three air signs here. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So you could be dealing with all of those. With, with you, no, I'm sorry, you could be dealing with one of those. Um, but really, I really feel like all these air signs are coming out here for you, Capricorn, because of the need for communication. Okay. Now the lovers is about a choice, but what I'm getting specifically with this lovers energy or this lovers card here, truth and authenticity. 
point blank, like straight up, y'all, like this is really giving me a, a, an energy of authenticity with the lovers because the lovers, um, yes, the lovers is about a, a, a soulmate relationship. It's about a divine partnership. It's blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Yeah, it's all that stuff. But also the lovers can represent a choice, okay? And often I like to, I like to describe the lovers as a choice between vice or virtue, okay? Vice being Adam or the man standing there in front of the burning bush. Vice being the, the, the wishes and desires and opinions of everyone else. Virtue being Eve or the woman standing in front of the tree of knowledge is that? It's either the tree of knowledge or the tree of life. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a biblical scholar, but basically it's the tree of knowledge. Yes. Um, and it's the tree of knowledge. That's right. Um, and that and it's virtue in the sense of you're, you're going with your heart. You're going with your truth, your honesty, your integrity, right? Choosing that over vice hopefully but that's but what but but what this is saying here is the subject matter this has to do with somebody's authenticity and i'm going to i'm going to say this but this could actually be what you're dealing with um but also it's an analogy that i'm that uh, that spirit is presenting to me so i'm just going to i'm going to explain it this way this doesn't necessarily mean this what you're dealing with but think about it this way if you have like a teenager that is struggling with their sexuality or is um is struggling with their identity in some way and has come to a realization about themselves and they want to speak that truth to you but you're avoiding hearing it because of your own discomfort with their challenges and their reality you are in essence by avoiding the situation like that you would be forcing this person to stay in the closet you know what i mean instead of honoring them or their choices for who they are you're choosing to discredit them or okay dishonor them by not at least acknowledging their choice it doesn't mean you have to agree with it all right please don't get me wrong it doesn't mean you have to agree with it or anything like that but but there you go i mean that's that's their decision to make it's not yours and so by you trying to control the situation in not in avoiding their truth being spoken or their truth being revealed or light being shed on whatever their situation is, you're kind of discrediting them. You're kind of, I heard disempowering them, but I don't, I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. Again, that doesn't have to be what you're dealing with, but that's kind of the analogy that I'm coming, I'm, 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 I'm perceiving here so i'm gonna just gonna go with that okay your challenge in the first half of your reading here capricorn the queen of cups compassion empathy emotional awareness emotional stability compassion and empathy being able to to at least recognize that somebody is going through an emotional situation or what this has to do, this has to do with some sort of emotions. Being willing to understand another person, or at least being willing to try to understand another person, or at least being willing to be emotionally available for someone who needs you, potentially. That's a challenge in this situation. But you see, also the challenge that I'm getting here with this is in order for you to be here, be there for this person, or in order for you to be open and receptive to whatever this communication is, you have to be aware of your own emotional issues with the situation. You're going to have to face your own emotions here, Cap. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. You're going to have to face your own emotions here. And that's most likely why you've been avoiding this or someone has been avoiding this situation. Okay. Queen of Cups is coupled with. There you go, the Seven of Cups, facing facing your fears, basically, is what this is boiling down to. Facing what's in front of you. You gotta face it, Capricorn, or whomever Capricorn is dealing with, right? This is a, a, a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Place it as it fits in your life, but don't also don't force it to fit if it doesn't, yeah? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have the Four of Cups. This is refusal. This is refusal to look at something, to accept something.
Now, for whomever is, has been in this state of avoidance, please understand that I'm not trying to discredit your feelings here. I understand that this actually is very emotionally tumultuous for you or very emotionally triggering for you. This is not something that you're having an easy time with. But, but the message here is that you are only making it harder for yourself by not facing it. You're only prolonging this sense of despair even, this, this turmoil, this pain. You're only prolonging this by not allowing it to move forward, by avoiding it. Okay, Four of Cups is coupled with the Empress. The Empress is unconditional love. The Empress is uh, birth, uh, gestation is abundance, it's compassion. And the Empress here is mirroring what the challenge is, excuse me, what the challenge is of, in the Queen of Cups. The, the, the compassion, the empathy. The Empress energy is like, is the Queen of Queens, right? She's like the ultimate mother. And she can be pretty enabling. She can be kind of a smother, a smother mother, <laughs> if she's negatively imbalanced or if she's negatively aspected. Um, she can be very enabling though, because, but that's just because it's coming from a place of unconditional love. She just loves her children. She just loves, you know, her, her subjects even, if you want to look at it that way, because she is the master of her own, of her own domain. And, and she wants them to be happy. She wants them to be who they are. And so that ultimately they can, that, that can mean that, you know, she may enable some negative tendencies or whatnot, whatever. But ultimately, though, the message here is there needs to be a sense of unconditional love for this situation. I mean, there might this I'm just I'm getting a very strong parent child dynamic here. Whether the child is a, a, is, a, is, a is a newborn, well, it's probably not a newborn, but um, I don't know, uh, a, a kid, a teenager, a young adult, an adult, whatever. The, the, the parent-child dynamic is very strong in this reading, but it doesn't have to be that, but I'm just picking that up fairly strongly, so I wanted to point that out. But there is a, the, the closing message here is instead of being closed off to wh whatever this person has to say, instead work towards being unconditionally loving and accepting of whatever someone is going through or whatever someone needs to say or feels. Okay. Oh boy. All right. And then other, I did pick up that I was potentially making somebody feel like I was devaluing their emotions. But I think if that resonated with you, I feel like you're in turn devaluing someone else's emotions. So isn't that a little bit of the pot calling the kettle black type situation? Ooh, don't shoot the messenger. I promise I love you. <laughs> okay, let's move forward. So getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies you have. The Knight of Cups, compassion, empathy, being, again, leading with your heart, making some sort of emotional gesture. And I, I really do feel like this is somebody reaching out and, and to whomever is going through some sort of emotional turmoil and being like, look, it's okay. I understand. This is, I feel like this is the emotional accept acceptance that is needed in this situation. And I'm hearing that you have the wherewithal to do this, to make this offer of compassion and understanding. Knight of Cups is coupled with the Four of Pentacles, but you gotta let go of something. There is a strong level or a strong uh, uh, resonance of uh, materialism here, potentially social standing, the opinions of others, um, yeah, this might be financial in nature, there might be a fear that someone won't be able to be emo uh, uh, financially or physically stable, blah, 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 what not, whatever, but that is a misconception. It is definitely a misconception, and it is fear-based. 
someone's holding on to something for dear life when they really need to be opening their heart and expressing truthfully and allowing someone else to express truthfully. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn. The Ace of Swords. Truth, knowledge, understanding, wisdom, epiphany, aha moments, communication. Seeing something clearly, seeing something for what it truly is. This conversation needs to be had. Someone has something to say and they need to say it. They've been, they've been needing to say it for a very long time. But a lack of unconditional love is standing in the way. Ace of Swords is coupled with judgment, wake up call, hello. Rising above a situation, resurrection, redemption, rebirth, renewal. These are all things that judgment represents. Somebody, somebody, either somebody needs a wake up call or somebody's getting a wake up call or somebody has heard the wake up call. Someone has woken up and now has some truth to share. And look, 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 look. For the person that has something that they need to say, if you're watching this reading right now, and the person that, and the, 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 the other party in, that you need to say this to is not listening to you, is rejecting you, that, then at some point, you just need to turn around and move on in your own direction, regardless of what they say. Now, I understand if I'm talking to like a teenager or a young, per like a, I don't know, someone who's like dependent on a parent or something like that, obviously that's not gonna be really all that easy or um, practical. But ultimately, at, so at some point, you've, you've woken up here, right? You know what the truth is. I'm speaking to the person that needs to communicate something or has something to say, has a truth to share, all right? Truth to be revealed, whatever. You know what the truth is. You know what time it is. You know what the deal is. And if someone else is not going to accept that, then there really is not anything you can do about that. You can't force someone to be accepting of something. So you're just gonna have to cut your losses and keep moving on in your own new direction that you have been called to, that you have awakened to, right? But someone here, someone here is avoiding something. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, the Knight of Pentacles, This feels like stagnancy. I'm almost getting an energy of someone believing that, oh, well, X, so and so is just going, or X, so and so, or X, Y, and Z is, eh, it's just a phase. Eh, it's just a phase. They'll come out of it. We don't need to talk about this. We'll just, we'll just keep going in the direction that we've been going in. Everything's going to be fine. But no. No, and then there's another person over here screaming at the top of their lungs. No, everything is not going to be fine. We have to talk about this. And then someone else is sitting here like, no, no, blah, blah. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. It's all just a phase. Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the King of Pentacles. Fixed energy. Stagnancy. Materialism. Overemphasis on the material aspects of life. Overemphasis over, yeah, overemphasis on money, status, social standing, social status, the way people view you. Your challenge is to overcome this. The King of Pentacles is fixed energy. Someone here is under the impression that because they've reached a certain status, because they've reached certain success in their life or a certain level in their life doing something a certain way, then that's really the only way that it can be the only, ooh, the only useful, I heard, or the only effective way of reaching a certain status. However, I feel like this person has some serious blinders on. Fixed energy, stubborn energy. They're, it's like they're not willing to see that there are other ways of maybe expressing yourself or of reaching a certain status of or being successful in some way. Okay. 
Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn, you have the Seven of Wands. Blockage, boundaries, defensiveness. I, I, I almost, well, okay, I'm getting two things. First thing that I got is for this person here who's, who has some truth to say, to speak. You might want to work on putting up boundaries between you and whomever this other person is if they're not going to be respectful of you and hear you out. On the other hand, what I'm getting is that someone needs to let down some really extreme boundaries or defensiveness or blockage. Seven of Wands is coupled with. The Tower. Again, I'm getting two scenarios here. One is pretty extreme. Um, and it's for the person that has something to say. And the tower here is representing the fact that you might just want to cut out, cut this, cut this completely off, cut this off completely and just put up boundaries. But then the other side of the scenario is there need to be some, some walls brought down. Someone has been very defensive about something. Someone has been blocking something. Someone has been avoiding something for a very, very, very long time. And it's time for that to come down. And I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest with you, Capricorn. It's going to come down whether you like it or not. So, and that's, and I'm, I'm just being straightforward. And I'm, I'm just telling it like, like, I'm just giving you the energies as, as they appear in front of me, both and like in both feeling wise intuitively and in the cards and this tower this tower look i don't fear the tower i appreciate the tower because personally i know the tower represents change and necessary change but someone here is so fixed in a certain way of thinking that this tower energy kind of feels like it's going to be a big thing for them this is going to be a big change so you can either roll with the punches, Capricorn, or whomever I'm speaking to, or this can be pretty catastrophic because either way, this shit's going to come down whether you like it or not. Period. And think about it this way. We'll keep with our, with our, our, our parent-child scenario. Would you rather... This tower comes down and you guys actually talk about this, okay? Let people be free to speak their minds, speak their truth, or express themselves however, however they feel is best for them and preserve the relationship between the two of you and be able to build a new and better foundation from that point. Or do you want this tower to come down and now you're, you're risking completely destroying the relationship between the two of you? That choice is yours, but as to whether this tower, this this situation crumbles or whether or, or what or what not, whatever, however you want to describe it, that is not your choice. It is going to happen anyway, whether you like it or not. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm really not trying to scare anybody. But if you are getting scared, if you are getting nervous, if you are getting triggered, then this really is something you need to hear. Okay, let's get your oracle guidance. See, but that's, that's the thing. That's the thing, you guys. In the beginning of the reading, I was picking up that, in the pre-shuffle, I was picking up that somebody has some truth to speak. But it's, it's a good thing, regardless of the circumstances, it's a good thing because it has the potential to bring you closer together with someone. Right? So ultimately, this is a good thing, Cap, whether it's for you or for the, someone else that you're cross-watching for or you're associated with. Well, no, someone would be cross-watching for you, for the Cap, right, okay. Um, 
But now also on the other side of it, look, think of it this way, guys. If you're the person that has something to say and the other parties, party or parties, it doesn't matter. It could be one person. It could be a group of people. It could be your family members. Who knows? I mean, this is a general reading. But whomever needs to hear your message, whether they accept it or not, by you honoring honoring your truth and your individuality and your authenticity and speaking your truth and, and being true, uh, truthful and honest about who you are and what you stand for or whatever it is you need to say, regardless of whether they accept that or not, by you honoring this in yourself, you are in fact bringing yourself closer together to yourself. If, I mean, I hope that makes sense, but how someone, ex how someone reacts is not a reflection on you. And you stand to be in a better position if you honor your truth, regardless of what they have to say or do about it, okay? All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll get your oracle guidance. Okie dokie. Here we go. Oracle guidance from a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November, 2019. And you know, it is Scorpio season, you guys. So <laughs> Scorpio season is all about this death and rebirth. It can be very extreme, all that good stuff. So here you go. Well, 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 we have card number 45, the ancient, elder, experience, lessons. This is actually the very last card in the deck. Dupe, a dupe, dupe, a dupe. The ancient is so old, she's almost beyond time. She is able to speak the truth without compromise, as are you when this card comes to you. She is so old, has experienced so much, learned and taught so many lessons that she has become powerful and influential just as you are becoming too. So too are you growing older, coming into wisdom. She knows that while others are now going to come to, advice, come to you for advice and guidance, she sees your humanity, your faults and your flaws and your feelings of unworthiness. She wishes to reassure you. Others will come to you seeking knowledge, awaiting a blessing, an, initi an initiation, and oblivious to the consequences of the path they wish to walk. Wisdom, true wisdom, understands complexity and you have developed this quality. The ancient is honorable and human, and yet more than human, she is courageous and has made sacrifices, as have you. She sees, she sees straight through confront, I'm sorry, she sees straight through comforting illusions, as you do. She represents ancient tradition and the challenge of, divine, of defining the self, yet remaining within a tradition that you value, and this too is one of your challenges. So take responsibility in your life. You will face a battle of choice and you will be able, I'm sorry, and you will be the antidote to gurus and dominant personalities who claim to have all the answers. The ancient recognizes the challenge of being a teacher. This immersion in a world to learn the ancient arts and venerate wisdom and always, I'm sorry, and old ways can be expressed I'm sorry, can be expressed in many forms. Let me say that again. This immersion in a world to learn the ancient arts and venerate wisdom and old ways can be expressed in many forms, but everything you are now learning has value. She is the repository for ancient secrets and the, connect and the contact between worlds. She is wise and she has learned to consider every word that falls from her lips, even as she longs to call out for freedom. So there you have it, Capricorn. I hope this was helpful for you. I understand this was a little bit of a rough reading, but ultimately it, it, it's something that needs to go down. But with that said, I love you all so very much and I hope you have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December. Wow. Take care. Mwah. Bye.